14 months. 14 long and ignorant months it has taken for me to finally get into playing some Assassin's Creed Revelations. Holy shit. And if I'm not mistaken, it's been about two months since I actually showed my own gameplay from any game I've been playing. <laughs> now, before people go bitching about this shit, listen, I know there's going to be a lot of mistakes in this little mission that I did. It was the first time doing this mission, and I was trying to be careful, so I got 100% of this bitch. And I know people are going to be like, oh, well, you should have done this, and you did this wrong, and I would have done this, and I would have done all oh, blow it out your ass in five different colors, motherfucker. I don't give a shit, man. Like I said, I was trying to play this shit to get 100% synchronization because I didn't want to fuck this damn thing up. So... I played like a bitch. And part of this, and you guys are gonna see it in a little bit later, I was pressing the buttons to lure motherfuckers away, but for some reason, it wasn't working. Shit wasn't happening, so I was like, what the fuck? So there's gonna be a part where I'm just like standing there with my thumb up my asshole for like a couple seconds. And it's because I'm pressing the buttons, but nothing's fucking happening. So I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I took the easy way out. I'm gonna call in my assassins to make some, um, Kills and shit like that allow me to get into the motherfuckers a lot quicker. But anyway, you guys will see the mission in the background. You guys can take a look at that. That's me playing some Assassin's Creed. Finally, right? That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, with the holidays and shit finally over, I can get back into a normal schedule without having to worry about all the crap that comes with the end of the year and the holidays and all that other bullshit. And for those wondering, because I've been getting this question a lot, did I get Black Ops 2 for Christmas? The answer is no, and that's with good reason. My friends quickly realized that they'd be wasting $60 on a gift that I won't fucking use. It would have been no different if they went out and they got me a fucking ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> Actually, I had played this game the week before Christmas at my friend's house, and I didn't like it. But I'll get into the details of that another day, because this is not about Lag Ops 2, this is about Assassin's Creed and a whole bunch of other games that I'm going to be playing. Now, over a year ago, I made the stupid decision to continue to play Modern Warfare 3 as much as I did. And I didn't like the motherfucker. I didn't play crap ops the year before, so I figured, you know what, I was gonna force myself into liking Modern Warfare 3, but the fact is, I really didn't like the motherfucker. I played it as long as I could, I tried to rank up as fast as I could, I tried to get all those guns out of the way, the golden guns, cause I was like, you know what, I just wanna end this fucking game so I can play a little bit of DLC and then go into some of the other games because I was tired of that fucking game. Anybody who plays it knows the frustration that I had with this game, you probably had the same frustrations that I had. By doing that, I missed out on playing two incredible games, Uncharted 3 and Assassin's Creed Revelation. When I took my break from Modern Warfare 3, I decided I was going to play Final Fantasy. Right after Final Fantasy, I went to SSX and eventually Mass Effect 3, and I got fucking addicted to Mass Effect 3. In doing that, I realized how fucking stupid it was to force myself into liking a game. We all know the series has been on the decline for years now. Sales keep going up, quality keeps going down in that motherfucker, and I figured, you know what? People want to see Modern Warfare 3. I took the year off and playing crap ops. I didn't want to play Black Ops 1. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll play the next Infinity War game. Modern Warfare 3 should be okay. It wasn't okay. But I played it because people wanted to see it. They hadn't seen Call of Duty for me, so I played the motherfucker. I forced myself to do that shit. And it was a really stupid fucking decision. <laughs> Now, eventually I got addicted to Mass Effect 3, which is still one of the best damn co-op games I played and I played in a while and shit like that. Now, eventually I'll probably play some more footage and shit like that, but I completely forgot about Assassin's Creed, I completely forgot about Uncharted. So 14 months later, I finally opened this game. I mean, literally, it was still wrapped in plastic from Best Buy with the goddamn pre-order sticker on the front of it. <laughs> so I had to crack this some bitch open for the first time just to play this motherfucker. And as expected, the game is fun. Obviously, I played the first three games in the series. I played one, not that great. Part two and Brotherhood were great. Now I got into this motherfucker and I'm addicted all over again. Also, during the holidays, I finally got around to completing the Uncharted 3 campaign. So, now that I finished Uncharted 3, I figured, you know what, fuck it. Let me go ahead and just tackle Assassin's Creed Revelation because that was the other game that I should have been playing 14 fucking months ago. And the funny thing is, I still have a shitload of games to play and finish or even just open. <laughs> I mean, just look at the rundown of games I have right now that I have intentions of playing. Obviously, I'm playing Assassin's Creed Revelations right now. I have Assassin's Creed 3 waiting for me. I haven't opened it, but obviously I gotta finish this motherfucker first before I jump into Assassin's Creed 3. I'm also probably gonna do another run through of the Uncharted 3 campaign as well as getting back into the co-op portion of the game. But here's what happened. With Uncharted 3, I started the campaign, Modern Warfare 3 came out, so I stopped the campaign, and then I only just finished it over this past break. So I was like, you know what, I didn't play the story together, so I'm gonna play the motherfucker together and see what that story is like. I also have Need for Speed Most Wanted, that's still wrapped in plastic, so I'm waiting to break that motherfucker out. <laughs> And for two years, I've had heavy rain, and I still haven't touched that fucking game. So eventually, I'm going to have to play that one. Then there are some older games that I've already played that I still want to go back to. Mass Effect 3 is going to keep calling me back every weekend because I want to do those stupid-ass challenges. Also, I haven't done the 
new DLC, Omega, and I gotta go back and get my Platinum Trophy on that bitch. Also, it's snowboarding season, so SSX will eventually be making a return to my PlayStation 3 because I love me some snowboarding. Plus, never finished all of Final Fantasy 13 too, so I need to go back and finish that motherfucker. And believe it or not, I'm also going to be making a return to Modern Warfare 3 as much as I hate that fucking game. Yes, I said it. I will be returning to Modern Warfare 3 at some point, but not because of what you think. There's still two things in that game I need to do. First thing I need to do is finish the Spec Ops missions since I like doing those. I actually like playing the Spec Ops missions. I didn't really play too many of them, so I got to go back and I got to play that shit. But the main reason is I prepaid all my money for those fucking DLC maps. You know, you paid up front for Call of Duty Elite. I only played two of the motherfuckers. So I gotta go back and get my money's worth. But again, that's gonna be a topic for another day. But eventually, I will be returning to Modern Warfare 3 at some point. Now, getting back into Assassin's Creed. In playing this, I realized a few things. One, I rarely post campaign footage of my games, of my own gameplays. Obviously, for the Hipfire commentary series, that's one thing. People send me whatever the fuck they wanna send me, so you see campaigns of that bullshit. But normally, I'm in multiplayer, I'm in co op. So how many times do you ever see me post a campaign? Never! I mean, I can't even remember if I posted a campaign or something. <laughs> If I did, it was by accident. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. I don't even remember what game I've ever posted a campaign of. Maybe I've done something in the past, but I can't remember the last time I've actually posted a campaign on my channel and done a commentary for that motherfucker. And the second thing is, I'm not going to even touch multiplayer in this motherfucker. The fact is, the game is over a year old. There's no point in going to multiplayer. If I'm going to play a multiplayer on Assassin's Creed, I'm going to go play Assassin's Creed 3. And the fact is, I don't even really like the Assassin's Creed multiplayer. I've tried them. I just don't feel it, you know what I mean? It, it sounds like a good concept, but in the end, it just doesn't fucking work for me, so I don't play multiplayer online in this motherfucker. Now, I'm not gonna get into Let's Plays. I'm gonna tell you that shit right now. I'm not gonna do walkthroughs of games. I'm not gonna do live commentaries. I'm not gonna show you how to get through campaigns and all that bullshit. I've never done any of those shits, and I don't have the patience to sit here and talk about gameplay as it occurs. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit, man. I need to be entertained. I mean, you guys could just see what I'm doing in this fucking campaign mission. I'm taking forever. And it's not that I know what I'm doing. It's that I'm literally trying to test out and see what the fuck it is that I need to beat in this motherfucker. People have already done their walkthroughs. People have already done the tips on how to beat things. I'm not going to do that shit. I don't give a fuck. I care less if people finish the campaign or not. <laughs> that's just the reality. I don't care. So for my gameplays, I got to find things that are entertaining. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'll probably throw up a couple of Assassin's Creed missions. I don't know. I'll find something entertaining. You guys can see this was me all fucking up and shit like that. I'll probably throw up some more Uncharted 3. Maybe some Mass Effect 3. Need for Speed is a definite. I will guarantee you. As soon as I open up that motherfucker, there will be some Need for Speed on my channel and shit like that. But here's the thing. You guys are the ones that determine what I post you know what I mean basically when I look at the number of views on videos and I'm not talking views because oh, I need money and all this bullshit no, no no you know there are plenty of channels out there that do that kind of shit they worry about what gives them money they worry about what makes them money they go out there and they do all this extra shit just for I, I've never cared about the money I do this for entertainment but obviously if I see one video gets 3,000 views and the next kind of game gets only a thousand views obviously people like 3,000 view videos so people like seeing black ops 2 I don't have black ops 2 but it works when I do the rants <laughs> You know, I love tearing that game a new asshole and shit like that. I can't strand Treyarch, so I love tearing those motherfuckers a new asshole. But, you post a Mass Effect, you get a thousand views. So obviously, only a thousand people wanted to watch Mass Effect. You get the hint. It's not that, oh, they don't like my shit, they don't want to watch it, they think I'm making money. No, it's not about the money. It's about what people want to see. People want to see Black Ops 2, they get Black Ops 2. People want to see Mass Effect, they get Mass Effect. That's the way it works. That's the way any channel works. So obviously, I want to post some Assassin's Creed videos. We'll see how many views it gets. If I get a lot of views, I'll post up more shit. If I don't get a lot of views, I'll skip on to the next motherfucker. That's how shit works. But the funny thing is, with Assassin's Creed, most of the funny shit happens without a commentary. You have to hear some of the shit that goes on in this fucking game. Anybody will tell you, some of the dialogue that you hear is fucking hilarious. Like, when you actually climb on shit, the citizens are like, Man, this guy's batshit crazy. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about? There was another part, I was climbing something, and he's like, does he have to look like a rabid monkey doing this? I was like, this guy is crazy. How the hell do they add this in the game? It's perfect. It's comedic gold. The problem is, if I do a commentary, I just talk over the good shit. So, we'll see what I post of Assassin's Creed. I'm sure I'll find something entertaining and something funny, but I will get some Assassin's Creed footage up on this bitch. And like I said, there are going to be other videos that I'm going to be doing. I'll probably sneak in a couple more Mass Effect videos because I do like playing Mass Effect, but obviously they don't get as many views as other games. Uncharted, I'll probably sneak in a couple co-op games. Need for Speed, definitely. Like I said, definitely going to do those when I start racing again, and then we'll see what other entertaining shit that I find in this motherfucker. But anyway, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. And like I said, you guys determine what you guys are going to see next. Based on the views, that's what's going to be seen. So, you might see some Assassin's Creed, might see some Uncharted. Definitely going to bring back the Hipfire commentary series. I'm obviously going to be doing some more videos of those. And Black Ops 2 Rants, because I know everybody can't get enough of those. 